And we're back guys. So, for today's video, uh, we're gonna do unboxing and sound test and review on this guy right there. Now on this guy. <laughs> uh, on this guy right there. On the Husky 20 gallon silent silent air compressor so uh, let me get you up close just so you guys can see you know done. and uh, basically it says up to 80% quiet then I was looking online for this guy right there and I couldn't find it so you guys can see all of the features but for me the most important thing is right here so two usage so we have an inflator so we're committed to use you guys can see a big circle a big red circle means that uh, actually right here you guys can see you guys can see it it says continuous when it's halfway it says intermittent you know you guys can use this too um, finish nailing so stapler bread nailer of course we can use that fully framing roofing we can use that bolting so impact wrench looks like we can use the impact wrench here the heavy duty you know half an inch and a three quarter impact wrench it's uh, basically halfway you might be able to use it you might not uh, air wrench yes we can use that um, cutting and drilling it's halfway all the way around so air hammer uh, you know this is like a grinder looks like it uh, and then a drill yeah all of those are like eh, maybe then surface prep you know as a sander and a cut. this is a grinder this is a cutoff basically <laughs> yes you wanna say hi you wanna say hi YouTube no? So yeah, basically all of these tools right here are gonna be, you know, eh, halfway. Uh, for me, the most important thing and the purpose that I got this guy. You wanna say hi, YouTube? No? Say hi, YouTube! <laughs> it's this painting right here. We can definitely use it for the painting. You wanna say hi? Um, but it's this guy right here the most important thing. Yes, um, Nikki. <gasps> boop, 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 boop. HVLP painting. Do you wanna say hi, YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> no? Okay. So, this HVLP gun, it says we can use it continuous. Right there. So, this is the very, very important thing because, you know, I'm planning to spray some rims and, you know, Bumpers, fenders, no, just a little thing here and there, not a lot. Uh, grease gun, I'm not planning to use the grease gun, so yeah, we'll see. <gasps> One more thing, 20 gallon silent air compressor. This is, you know, how big it is, right here. Portability, horsepower. Uh, this right here, I believe it's important, it's important as well, force. SCFM at 90 PSI, maximum 165. So, because of this here, I believe we can use the HVOP painting. And I believe HVOP means high volume, low pressure. Basically, that's about it, looks like it. I got this compressor from Home Depot. This is not a sponsorship or anything. I just, uh, I live in an apartment complex. I hope I don't get, you know, a bunch of complaints. I mean, I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. Oh. This foam is actually from the bottom. I just, I just, you know, I just barely got it. And I started opening it up. So I was like, you know, that, that's, you know, pretty good time to make a video for you guys. So you guys can see what type of tool I'm planning to use and why I'm planning to use it. So without further ado, let's start this bad boy unboxing.
We have instructions. Well, this is it guys, this is the compressor. Let me look the instructions real quick and then I'll show you up close. Okay guys, so first apparently we have to break it in the pump, which is right here. I'm gonna show you what we need to do. So first right on the very bottom, right there. We need to make sure that this is open so it's not holding air. Then this guy right there needs to be turned all the way to the on position, to the plus. Oh good, pressure switch right here, this is a pressure switch. I think this is like an automatic switch, so you know, this thing doesn't exceed 165, so it doesn't blow up basically. So this switch right now, it needs to be in the off position, because we have the bottom open. So when you turn it on, the compression is going to work. The idea is it needs to work for 10 minutes. You guys can see actually the picture right here, the part I was telling you about. Right there. Okay, so now let's plug it in so we can see how loud this compressor is. I have a meter. You guys can see right now when I'm talking, it's like a 70 to like 80. And my son is basically, you know, making noises as well. So you guys can compare and we can see if this compressor, if it's louder than a child. <laughs> Nikki, are you louder than a compressor? Well, you guys have it right there. He said no, he's not louder than a compressor. Well, let's uh, check it out. So let's plug it in and let's see how much noise are we going to be able to make. Okay, it's plugged in. Okay, so now we're gonna turn it on. I hope you guys can hear me, but it's better than the other ones. So let me see if we can make it a little bit more quiet. Cause right now, let's see, I have the compressor on that end, right there, right here, 75. So this roughly, it's about 10, I mean, 10 to 15 feet. It's definitely a lot more quieter than the other ones, but yeah, we'll see. So, um, I'm gonna let it run for 10 minutes. Well, actually, let me see if I can uh, make it a little bit quieter. Okay guys, this is my idea. I think it's the same. Let me go back in that corner. We're in the corner. I think it's the same. I'm thinking I'm, uh, I'm gonna buy some uh, one of those uh, foam, silent foamers from uh, Amazon. I'm gonna put them around this box on the inside. So when the box is all the way in, it should make a difference. I don't know, I hope so. So I'm gonna let it run for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna continue with the next step. Okay guys, I have one more minute around, but I wanna show you something. So if you get the box all the way down, like that, I still haven't, you know, get the foams on the inside, but I think with the foam, I'm gonna get even better result. But right now, with the box in, and actually I'm thinking I will do like two hoses, or maybe like a opening right here, where I can actually open it and unplug you know the cord or whatever if I need to do and then put the box back up so let me show you first we are that close and we're getting looks like like 75 you guys can see when I'm talking it's actually even louder so let's go back in that corner like I said roughly 15 feet we are down to 70 so I think we're pretty good I think so what do you guys think 70 from I believe it was like 75 fish 
or one nut. Let's call it 70. So I think uh, I think this compressor is actually pretty quiet. And not it's not like quiet enough so you can actually sleep, but still it's a lot better. I'm gonna go back when the next step, you know, when we need to do the next step. Okay guys. So the compressor ran for 10 minutes with the drain open on the bottom. So now we're gonna close it. So let me show you right there. Okay, so this way, there we go. Now it's closed. Now right here, we have a tank. This is for the tank. And then this is for the tool. And I believe this is a regulator, which I mean it says, but you know, uh, this regulator controls how much pressure for the tool we're gonna get, I think. Don't call upon it, let's see. So we're gonna turn it on. I was thinking, I just, it just hit me. Um, let's measure, let's time it to see from full empty to, to full how much time is gonna take. Let me set up my stopwatch so you guys can see it. Right now we have a little bit of a pressure show. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. I believe I can just pull this guy. So I think this is the emergency. Your emergency valve so it doesn't blow up. And it's preset, it looks like for 185. Let me drain it actually, I think that's gonna be the fastest. And looks like we already are collecting water. You guys can see right there. Let me close it and let's start from the beginning. Okay guys, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna get my timer on as well. Okay guys, there you have it. Six minutes and 51. Woo! That is crazy. But from zero to 165. Now this actually on the top, it's pretty warm. This guy is pretty warm as well. And this is same thing, it's pretty warm. So you guys can see right here the gauge for the tools. Real quick, just to show you, this is what the kit includes. You have all these adapters, you know, everything. So it's pretty good. So, and then you have the rubber hole right there, which is a 25, 25 feet is the hose. And um, um, actually this kit was $20, $20.98. So yeah, just wanted to make clear. Okay guys, uh, before I let you go, I wanna show you this. So I was looking, you know, what to get since the compressor doesn't come with any accessories or anything so i end up going and getting this kit it's on the very very bottom shelf on bottom right i don't know where it's in your guys' home depot or if you guys have lows i don't know if lows have that this kit right here it was 15 bucks it's pretty good deal with the hose pretty cheap hose but for a first hose why not i'm planning to get a different hose when I get my spray gun and uh, all the other stuff, this is pretty good deal, 15 bucks. Let me set it up and show you when you guys need to store the compressor, what you guys need to do. Because right now, you guys can see, we have um, 165 at the compressor there. Then this is the regulator for your tools, which is right here. And you guys can see if I spin this guy, get it tighter clockwise. You guys can see I'm raising the pressure. So right now this is under pressure from here down to the gauge. So to store it, you guys can see if I go back. Now I'm dropping the pressure here. So there you go. I'm raising it. And when you guys are storing it, you guys don't want to have pressure in these two. So boom, we're losing the pressure. Okay, and when you guys wanna store it, just unplug it right, right here in an off position. It's already off, you guys can see. 
But right now it's that's for sure off. I plug it. The box says you need to drain it. I don't know why you have to drain it. Maybe because it's collecting moisture inside, or maybe because it's on pressure. I don't know. If someone knows, you know, put it down in the comments. I have no idea what am I doing. Let me show you how noisy it is to have a kid around. So looks like you know this compressor i don't know how much you guys can understand to see how loud it is but hopefully this is going to give you a perspective how loud is the compressor it's not like super duper loud but at the same time you know it's a compressor i think i like it it's it's pretty good for right now there is no complaints we will see you have to guys subscribe to my channel and you guys need to smash the like button you know for the youtube algorithm uh and you guys need to you know, make sure you watch every single video of me of mine, so you guys can know what's going on with this bad boy. If it's good, if it's not, you know, only the time will tell. I will see if I can find a link for this guy. And I'll put it down below if you guys want to get it from my link. That's about it. I'm trying to think of anything. Um, I don't know. If I miss something, please put it down in the comment, and I can make a follow-up video and everything. But I think that was it. I mean, I looked every single thing here. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, once again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. One more thing. Don't forget, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So, I will see you on the next one.